What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Mike from Slow Speed here with you guys. The weather's actually not that bad. Yeah, I'll show you. All right. So we got a good 41 degrees today. Finally, I get to come to you guys without a big giant coat on. I mean, I know 41 degrees seems cold to the majority of you guys. However, 41 degrees to me is like summer weather because literally the uh, last past couple days has been, if not five degrees, like 14 degrees. I've been trying to get a video out for you guys, but you know, it, 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 went, it went downhill. It went downhill. Ah! But, uh, that being said, we got the BMW right here, chilling out right now, everything is cool. So today we're gonna be adjusting the burbles via boot mode. This car comes from factory, many of you guys know, it already burbles, like slightly, just a little bit from factory when you have it in sport mode. But what the boot mode software does, uh, if you guys do not know by now, it is a tuning platform for your vehicle and it also allows you to customize your burbles on the fly. When I say on the fly, I don't mean you know, while you're in the middle of the highway. What I'm saying is you get to customize your burbles at home. You know, you don't have to go back and forth to the tuner just to change it. Really convenient for those of us who get tired. Hold on. Right, guys, that ambulance is in the way. But it gets really convenient for those of us who I don't, I, are, are very indecisive. I like my burbles loud and throaty sometimes. And sometimes I like just like them, I don't know, burbly. But uh, with that being said, you have a couple of functions. You can turn them completely off. You can keep them OEM and get those little burbles that I was telling you about. You can go OTS, which is every map has a set amount of burble. And you have custom, which is you fully adjust it. You can adjust the time, you can adjust the aggression. You can, you can adjust uh, both sport modes and comfort modes. So when you're cruising around and you really don't want to make so much noise, maybe a cop is around, you put that sucker in comfort, you might have minimal burbles, if not any. And then in sport mode or sport plus mode, you just go crazy and shoot flames out the back. So we're going to get onto that. My maps. Now, all you do essentially is look for the, look for the map that I have currently. So let me see if I can get some screen recording going on in this thing. If I can get some screen recording going, That'd be super dope. I'm trying to get a screen recording for you guys and this is what I'm left with. So, sorry, old school style. All right, so we're gonna go to the map that I have, which is last flash. That is what I flashed last. We're gonna go to config. So we're in the top right corner, we got config and beta testing. Exhaust burble type. See, I have my set to custom. Uh, duration and comfort mode or eco pro I have it set to zero sport mode it is set a little bit before halfway I would say about a third now if you touch it you can tell like you just put your hand on it it's two seconds so if you like just put your finger on it get it to focus you put your finger on it it shows that it's two seconds aggression is all the way up which is 10 you have minimum and maximum speeds at which you want burbles. To be honest with you, anything higher than like 80 or 90 miles an hour, I kind of really don't hear them anyway. I know they go off because when I go under a tunnel, I can kind of feel it, but I don't really notice it. The RPMs, minimum RPMs, I have it all the way down to 1200 and I have it all the way up to 5700. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you guys maximum. We're just gonna wild out. We're gonna go Five seconds, aggression 10. It's about 5,700 RPM. I don't like to go above, like, you know, 5,700 RPM. I feel like the exhaust gas is going out so fast that it kind of muffles it a bit. I've, re I've realized you get your loud pops around four or five grand. That's where you get the loudest ones. Have. We're gonna scroll all the way down to save changes. Of course I wanna save. And it's not ready just as yet. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the car off. Put it in ignition on mode. Buckle up my seatbelt. Turn off the AC for a power draw. The headlights if it's on. That check engine light just means it's in accessory mode. So we've uh, minimized the power draw. So we're gonna go ahead and back. We're gonna double check because I did turn the car off. We're gonna double check to make sure the vehicle is still connected. Yes, it is. Yes, it is ready. CSS has update because we've adjusted the burbles and we're gonna go ahead and flash it. I'm not gonna speed up the flash for you guys so you guys can see exactly how long it's gonna take. Press here to flash now. Battery charge is highly recommended. Headlights fan off and plug in the driver's seatbelt. All of those which I've done. 
except for plug in the uh, um, battery charger. I do not need one. Uh, I do recommend you guys use one if you're not familiar with it or if you guys just not used to breaking crap. Uh, now, do not open or close doors while flashing. I've, I've, I've learned that. I haven't done that, but you know, I've learned not to do that as well. I'm just gonna hit flash. It's downloading from the servers. I even try not to move, honestly. I feel like it just screw something up. So it's going now, it's downloading. So it's not technically flashing now, it's just downloading. You can tell when it really starts, when the car starts bugging out. Switch your map, there we go. See, you get a drive tray malfunction. Chassis stabilization and heads up displays, like it tells you everywhere. Still flashing, it has a little red bar up here. It's a progress bar. It's kind of useless because it sits right there until it's almost done and then it just like freaking Geronimo's to the end. But hey, you just, you, you get what you get. <laughs> See what I mean? So that's literally it guys. Success. So we are on that full blown map. There's that same F80 that was popping like that. Now we are on that Stay tuned on the aggressive with the full burbles for five seconds. Now, I'm doing this strictly for you guys so you guys can see how it sounds or see how long or whatever because I'm definitely gonna take this off. It just seems kind of painful. Put the windows down for you guys. You guys can get a better. This thing burbles a really long time actually. It doesn't burble as much though. Okay, it, I'm noticing it, it burbles a lot longer, obviously. Five seconds longer. I don't know. I don't see how somebody could like that. I mean, I kind of borderline like the burbles in the first place. The only thing I really love about the burbles to be honest with you guys, is the fact that, you know, flames, potentially flames that come out of the back, and two, you get like a loud, of like, like, pow, like, like you get a, like, a crazy noise, but, well, actually, I think, you know what it is? I like, I like gunshots more than the, the burbles. This is more of like a, a legit burble. See? It's like, I don't know if you guys can hear it, hopefully it's picking up, but it sounds like a just legit burble. See, look, like, Yeah, that shit is oh, shit. I can't say shit. Yeah, that's that's a little too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull over. If I don't get hit by this lady in the Jeep or this lady in the Hyundai, I'm gonna pull over. I'm not gonna I'm not pulling over here. You see how these people come out this corner? Yeah, that's a little too long. So, I'm gonna go ahead and change this crap out. Should we try out, guys? You know what? I'm gonna try out. Well, first, let's set it back to how I like it. Two seconds, fully aggressive. Everything is all set up. Now, we're gonna do. A, all right, that's cool. We're gonna do a OTS. So, I'm gonna show you guys what the Pro Tuning Freaks sets their burbles uh, off the shelf. All right, guys, we're back and we're rolling. Window down for sheer verbal pop pleasure. Car in sport mode. I'm gonna hold it in a manual, but we gotta get out of reverse first. It feels like it's still five seconds long. Thank you. Tell it's not as bad, like it's not as aggressive. I could definitely tell it's more of a burble style. It has more of a grumble, like which I do like. So, OTS, it's moderate, but I feel like it drags on a little too long. I feel like it should be a little less, uh, like le less length, but hey. 
I'm gonna show you guys the setup that I have on my car right now. This, I, I am running a full aggression, and I'm just gonna give you guys a little sound clip. Of it. pick it up so what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna do the same exact thing but uh, kind of get the phone thinking about doing to get the best exhaust kind of sound for you guys I'm gonna go ahead and record it on my phone and I'm gonna record it on the camera and kind of blend the sounds in together to see if you guys can get kind of two different angles or try to mask some echoing I don't know but I'm gonna to try to figure it out for you guys because I feel like to get a really good exhaust note you need more than one mic setup or mic pickup or mic input or whatever the case may be check, check out the decal check out the decal Looks sick, right? I know you movement guys out there are gonna, gonna like that one. I know y'all gonna like that one. I put it on the side right here, looking real, real nice. Shout out to everybody at the movement. You know, I have a good time with you guys, whether you go out to meets or stuff like that, or you know, we looking pretty good, we looking pretty good. Understanding my settings alone, what I was going for was a short burst of obnoxiously loud burbles. Now, some cars, they will burble from here to freaking Mexico, which is, not that far. You can have it on for five seconds and it's pow, pow, pow. So essentially how you activate the burbles or how you trigger the burbles on these cars, it is a decel function. The burbles do not work while you're on the gas pedal. They work when you let off the gas pedal. So the second you let off the gas pedal, it retards timing and it dumps some fuel and you get burbles. That cannot happen when your foot is on the gas. So I just wanna let you guys know, every time you take your foot off the gas, and you're essentially coasting the burble for as long as you set it to burble. I have mine for two seconds, so as soon as I let my foot off off the gas pedal or the throttle, it will burble for two seconds. Ooh, god damn, the car is hot, god damn. I don't normally sit on my car, okay. So, so guys, that concludes the video. I don't know why this section of the car is like blistering hot. I mean, I've never really sat on my car before, so I don't know. That being said, hope I got my point across today, what I was trying to show you guys, which is the ease of adjusting your burble. So if you day off or you got a couple hours, not even a couple hours, it probably takes like one hour most. I mean, if you're picky like me, a little bit longer. Yeah, so you can go out, set out some time of the day and adjust, fine tune your burbles. You can set it and forget it. You know, OEM, OTS, you can turn it completely off so you can have even better than OEM sometimes, which I will say, is completely off. Uh, a couple of things that I have noticed is though, the more aggressive you go with your burbles, I've said this before and I will say it again. I'm trying to figure out what car that is. Yeah, so the more aggressive you go, the more of a type of like lug you're gonna get. The car doesn't feel as free on D-cell. It kind of feels like something is holding it back, like the rope, like somebody tied a rope and it got a little bit tighter. The more aggressive you go, the more you're gonna notice that. Uh, the less like jumpy is gonna be off the line. And I've realized that, and that's why this is also a pro in my book, because when you wanna show off, have really nice loud bangs, uh, kind of flame up the situation a little bit. And, uh, well, that sounded kind of weird. Anyway. You want to do all that, you can, but then when you're really about your serious business and you're racing, you get rid of all the verbal crap and you just full send. With Catless Down Pipe, OTS um, Stage 2 Aggressive Tune from Boot Mode uh, and Stock Mid Pipe Stock Exhaust, I was able to show some type of flameage out of this whole situation. So I want you guys to stay tuned uh, after this clip for that. That's going to be it, guys. Hope you guys like it. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. It's Mike from Slow Speed once again. And, um, yeah. We out of here right now, guys. Peace out.